7.53. Now, from Robert Baden-Powell to Bear Grylls, the post of Chief Scout has been held by some rather prestigious names since the movement began in 1920. And now, there will be a new name to add to that list, the adventurer Dwayne Fields, who was the first black Briton to reach the North Pole. Now, our correspondent Sophie Long is at Scout Park in North London for us this morning and can tell us more about all of this. Sophie, I mean, this very much, Dwayne is like trying to bust some of the myths around scouting and the old fashioned images that sometimes still stick in the mind. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing old fashioned about this place, Naga. I got here long before sunrise, and who says you can't get teenagers up in the morning? There have been people up and down that climbing wall. Uh, there's all sorts of activities going on here, and I'm very pleased to say, Dwayne Fields is here by the campfire. Hi. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, How are before you, you sit down, let one. me give you that. That's yours. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. It's an absolute honour, unexpected honour. Um, I remember the moment I was asked, I, I felt this sense of emotions just building up because I know what Scout has done for me. And, you know, I've seen the benefits uh, of Scouting for so many young people. And I thought, well, it's great that I can now give something more back. Yeah, just tell us about what scouting meant to you then, because you actually came to Britain, what, when you were six? Yeah, that's from right. From Jamaica, and straight into the scouts? No, in, in, in fact, I, I came to Britain when I was six, just like you said, and initially it was a pretty tricky time for me because I struggled to make friends. I struggled to fit in uh, into life here in the UK, and it was only when I first walked through the doors of that scout group, not far from here, um, that I found somewhere that I belonged or somewhere that I felt comfortable or somewhere that I could push myself and... Uh, you know, grow my confidence. I felt like I was 10 feet tall when I went in, uh, when I came out. And when I went in, I remember I was this shy, scared little kid. I was so scared, in fact, that I hid behind my friend's mum when the scout leader came out and said, you know, you're a new starter, come on in. And so you are now Chief Scout. Yes. Um, are you mates with Bear Girls? I am a bear. I'm a massive fan of bears. And, you know, I've been asked so many questions, you know, why is he leaving? Is he leaving? Is he going to miss it? I think Bear's going to miss it massively, but he's done 15 years in the role, which is the second longest. The only person that's done it longer is our founder. Um, so Bear's done his time. He's a volunteer just like the rest of us. And he goes on to be the World Scout Chief Ambassador. So he hasn't left the scouting family. So you'll be working together? Uh, yes, so Bear's somebody who I've, I've spoken to him a couple of times since, um, since it was announced, actually. And he's, he's made it very clear that he's there to answer any questions to support me through this, which is brilliant. I think he's always presented himself as a supportive, positive, energetic, inspirational guy. And um, I think that's exactly what he is. That's cool. And so what's your main mission? You know, what you've got, what, five-year term now? Yes, yeah, so we, we serve a five-year term, and my main mission is to grow or continue to grow the scouting movement and deliver scouting to new communities up and down the country. At the moment, we've got over 107,000 young people on our waiting list, and the barrier to them joining the scouts and reaping the benefits just like I have is that we just can't keep up demand. We've got 145,000-plus really great volunteers, and we just can't keep up with the number of scouts that want to join. So my aim is to grow the number of volunteers as well in all these new communities so we can bring the young people in and reduce the waiting lists. So you need more adults, right, to, so more people can become scouts and Absolutely. come to places like this. How are you going to do that then? How do you go about getting adults involved? You well, already tried with me. Thing, <laughs> oh, I, did, I did try with you earlier. No, you um, <laughs> that's a work in progress. The, the key thing for me is just keep shouting about the message of what scouting means. Let people know that scouting is good for you if you're a volunteer. It's great for your mental health. It's good for your community. It's great for young people to find role models and mentors. And it's just, it's a great way to deliver, to develop skills that are transferable. So the skills that we teach you in scouting, they're transferable to your work life external uh -huh. to scouts as well so it's great all round. Um, well people that here are very happy and you seem to be inspiring people already I mean you've got um, you know people talk about Bear grills, but I mean you're a pretty cool guy too as well right you've <laughs> been to you. which pole was it? Uh, so I've been to the <laughs> north pole I've been lucky enough to, to go on expeditions in the Arctic and Antarctic as well uh, as well as other places in the world but I, I was the first black Briton to walk to the north pole and I think that's something that I actually want to step away from a little bit because I think I want to just remind everyone that the scouting family is absolutely for anyone, black, white, or anything in between. Any gender now. Any well, gender. Right? Thirty, uh, uh, roughly thirty percent of our of our um, network is, is females, and I want to grow that and just continue to grow. We've grown every year, grown our numbers every year for the past twelve years, bar two, and that was during COVID. And I want to continue that that trend. 
cool. Um, well, everyone here is right behind you, right? And um, I think we should uh, have a little campfire song, given that I'm not doing very well with my marshmallow. Come on, take it away, guys. Campfire's burning, campfire's burning, draw nearer, draw nearer, in the glory, in the glory. Well, doesn't that look very nice place to be this morning? Sitting around a campfire, These doing a bit of cooking. Great. I upset people when I see. <laughs> Toasted marshmallows. That's not, uh, that's not top of my list, actually. I'm not a marshmallow fan, but the whole scene looks lovely. You've always got to have toasted marshmallows. We'll be back with the headlines at eight to find out what's happening wherever you are. Hi, I'm Jo, a former venture scout in the 279 Birmingham Troop with your Friday morning headlines from Midlands.